okay this is the question we are discussing that day right so we don't have any forwarding option or else we don't have any nor uh, hazard detection you don't have both okay so only option we have is your nop no operation so we have to op your compiler should insert nop between this instructions to solve the dependency dependency what is dependency one variable I mean i can say one variable in the sense one your x1 is dependent on this x1 right there are many types of dependency like uh, uh, read after write read after write this okay and we have many more dependencies like uh, write after read write after write and uh, read after read these dependencies are not an issue okay in pipeline only you are read after writing right is causes a trouble in your pipeline right so if you look at the instructions we have to identify uh, this is instruction 1 instruction 2 up to instruction 6 which instruction is dependent on the uh, which instruction okay right so if you see here your x1 in the first instruction x1 is written we are writing something in x1 that is your sum of x1 plus x1 is written in this x1 so we are writing here in the next instruction we are reading okay so what i can say here is i can write your i2 is read after write your i2 is read after write dependency dependency on i1 dependency on i1 okay for which register x1 register right now okay now you see you you read the third instruction the third instruction what is happening what is the meaning of the third instruction the the content from this location should be loaded into your x2 register okay so you are reading the x1 after writing the x1 in the i2 register i mean i2 instruction okay so i can make a i will use different color so this x1 which is read in the third instruction after writing in the second instruction so i can write the explanation as i3 is read after write dependency on i2 for I mean x1 sorry x1 okay now look at the fourth instruction fourth instruction we are reading x2 okay after writing x2 in the third instruction okay so what is the dependency we'll use uh, maybe the blue color yeah right so i can write here as you are i4 is read after reading dependency on i3 for which register x2 register okay then come to the fifth instruction fifth instruction you have to understand first what is happening In the fifth instruction we will be reading x2 and putting the result in this location 0 x1 okay so we are reading x2 after writing x2 in the fourth instruction right so dependency is this right so i can say instruction 5 is read after write dependency on i4 for 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 which instruction uh, for which variable which register x2 okay now come to the last instruction here what we are reading we are reading x2 right in the sixth instruction we are also reading it is between 5 and 6 the dependency is read after read read after read is not a dependency issue in pipelining okay so uh, we don't have we have only i can say that 
this x2 is red after this x2 is red okay so uh, the dependency i can if, if if you need you can write but that's not an issue in read after read dependency on i5 for x2 so of course this dependency this one will not cause any uh, pipelining issue okay now only this so i mean uh, so that means i have to uh, i have to keep uh, i have to wait for the first instruction to be completed such that the x1 is updated so that i can process in the uh, i can proceed with the second instruction okay now how long how much nop i have to insert that the point you have to see for that we have to go for the timing diagram if we see the timing diagram these are the stages right the first instruction the stages are instruction fetch instruction decode execute um, memory memory access stage and write back stage okay here if you look at the instruction uh, for your information we are not going to do any memory access we are fetching the instruction we are decoding what is decoding we will understand what instruction is that and what registers we are using okay so uh, we will understand it's an addition addition operation and the registers used are both are x1 okay in the execution stage we will do the addition so out at the output of the execution stage we have the added value the added addition is done addition is done it's added okay then where the result result is not stored in the memory it is stored back to the which register x1 register so that's called write back so at the end of the fifth clock cycle your x1 is updated at the end of the fifth clock cycle your x1 is updated okay now if you are executing as per the pipeline we have to start in the next clock cycle itself if you are not inserting nop if you are starting here we do not the x1 will not be what i can say will not be reflected in the second instruction okay so we have to wait for three clock cycles so here parallelly here comes the parallelism okay or pipelining your wb that is the write back stage of the first instruction is overlapping with the instruction fetch of the second instruction okay now at, at the end of the clock cycle 5 instruction fetch is done while decoding now we got the updated value of x1 so that x1 will come here now we can execute memory here also we don't use the memory we will write back in which register here also at the end of the uh, at the end of the ninth clock cycle we are updating the x1 right we are updating the x1 so for this dependency the point here is we are will be we should be inserting three nops okay so this nop after inserting three in nops this will be reflected here so here what we do we will read the content of x2 so we will be reading the content of uh, 0 x1 and will be placing the result in x2 okay so what does your execution part do here it will find out the address which address 0 x1 it will find out the address 0 x1 right and we will access the memory that is 0 x1 memory right from there we will put the content back to which register at the end of the clock cycle 13 we will be putting the result in x2 okay then again this instruction 3 is dependent i mean instruction 4 is dependent on instruction 3 okay on what register x2 register so we need to wait for 3 nop operation is inserted okay so this x2 will be reflected here okay right so you can follow this right and uh, for this instruction what is happening your x2 is reflected here okay x2 is loaded into this memory location right so in the uh, ex execution stage we will be finding out the address 0 x1 in the memory we will be writing we don't have the write back option here for this instruction store we will be having the memory write we don't have any write back to the register we don't have this part okay this is for additional information i am saying right and there is no dependency 
so your uh, may the last instruction will be executed in the next clock cycle itself immediately after the next clock cycle it starts the operation okay this is why this is the explanation now other than this i want to sh uh, add a few more points right okay there are two things right uh, if suppose if you are having forwarding option i am taking two instructions right which is your addition and subtraction one after the other right if you see here what dependency you are in the instruction one you are writing yes not in the instruction two we are reading yes not so definitely we have the read after write dependency on i2 on i1 for which register yes not register okay but luckily we are saying that we are having some forwarding option what is forwarding option what is forwarding option is very simple right okay you look at the first instruction what is happening t not and t1 content are added result is put in s not right so if you see here instruction fetch instruction decode for this instruction in the execution stage after execution the result is there what result your t not and t1 are added but i do not know where i should store either i can store it in a memory or else i can store it in the register in this instruction i am storing it in the register which register s not so we should be waiting for five clock cycles to get the result stored in s not okay now we are having forwarding option what is forwarding option is we have an extra hardware extra hardware to speed up the pipeline right so actually if you see the result the added result that is your t not and t1 is available at this point itself okay right so for the next instruction it is sub t2 s yes, not t3 i can do instruction fetch here instruction decode execute memory in the next clock cycle then we have write back right what is a forwarding it is a special hardware so your execution after the execution result is there right so i need not to wait till this point here itself using the special hardware i will pass the that is your uh, uh, t not plus t1 to this point to the execution stage okay right so with the forwarding i can speed up the pipeline in the last example if there is such case we need to wait for how many clock cycles three clock cycles but here we need no I need not to wait any clock cycles okay but we will use a special hardware special hardware will be connecting your execution of the execution output of the first uh, first instruction to the execution input of the second instruction clear okay this is one example there is another example where we can say that uh, load use data hazard okay the third one is the load use data hazard what is load use data hazard is i have instruction lw then i have the instruction sub t3 okay this is called load use data hazard what is happening here i am using loading operation this content is loaded in s not then this s not is required here okay for this even if you are using forwarding it's not enough okay we need to insert a bubble right okay we need to insert a bubble right so if you see the first instruction during the first clock cycle cc1 cc2 cc3 c4 6 cc7 okay so instruction fetch is happening instruction decode is happening then execution is happening if you need memory uh, memory write operation then write back okay for the first instruction okay so what is happening actually we are reading the content placing it in the s not so the result is present in which okay result is present your s not is updated only at this instant s not is updated only after the fifth clock cycle okay but uh, what is 
uh, what does this execute do in this here in this uh, instruction the execute will compute the address which address it will add it will find out 20 along with i mean offset along with the base register okay 20 t1 okay when this is done we are um, <coughs> okay we if then we go to the memory location which memory location this memory location right so we are we are read the data at the end of the memory read here itself we will be reading the data at the end of the fourth clock, clock cycle itself we will be completing reading of this location content only thing we have not copied to we have not copied to which register s not register we have not returned back to the register s not okay so it is available at this point right so output of this memory can be forwarded to the input of input of this memory in the next clock cycle okay so here is the execute stage no no not for the memory sorry the output of the memory should be forward to the execute input right execute input okay here in execute what is there s not is there another input is your t3 another input is your t3 then this stage is your id this stage is your if so we need to wait we are not starting immediately okay see for pipelining the, the second instruction should start at the cc2 but we are starting only at instruction which is happening at cc3 so we, we are adding a bubble we are adding a bubble this is the bubble okay right so this is your memory this is your write back okay so always remember uh, when you are using a load operation followed by this subtraction addition we even if you are having forwarding forwarding is there whereas we have a special hardware to forward from this point to execute input but still we need to wait for one clock cycle by inserting a bubble okay that's the point okay this sort of uh, this is a special case if you are following a load instruction followed by this the previous one it we don't have any load instruction it's a both are our instruction here yeah, if you have a forwarding no need to wait at all okay in the first question okay in this question here we don't have any for we don't have forwarding and we don't have any hazard detection also so only operation we have is your nop okay for this we need to wait for how many clock cycles three clock cycles okay right i hope uh, this helped thank you